I will teach you now how to make a pentagon using our compass. Let us start. To start with, we need a line. I will draw a line from this point up to this And then we will label this line as point A and point B. So we'll have now our line AB. Next step is to bisect our line AB using our compass. From point A, Using bisecting a line, draw an arc on top and below our line AB. And the same as with from point B, draw an arc on top and below our line AB. And the two intersections of these arcs, we will connect these two points using a line with the help of our foot rule or our triangle. The intersection, we will label it as point M. Therefore, point M will be our middle point of line AB, or the center of line AB. Now, from point B, next step is to draw an arc. We want to make a perpendicular line from point B. Draw an arc. And then, without changing the settings of your compass, draw another arc. And then from that intersection we made, draw another arc. And another one on top. another one on top making the intersection if you do not know how to make a perpendicular line you can always go back to our video in tutorial on how to make a perpendicular line next step is to draw a line from point B going up to our new intersection as point Q. And then from point A to point B, we will measure the distance from point A to point B using our compass. All we have to do is to put the needle pointer in point A and the pencil lead in point B. And then from point A, transfer the measurement going up to our perpendicular line, thus making another new intersection there. Next step will be from point M, point your needle pointer in the point M until the new intersection we made a while ago. And draw an arc. Now 
Now the next step is to extend the line AB going to the right. Using our T-square, or simply your foot rule, all you have to do is to extend point A to point B going through the arc that we made earlier. And as you can see, we have our new intersection now, and we will call it point F. Now, using our compass, we will measure the distance from point A to point F. Again, we will get the distance from point A to point F. And make an arc up and from point B under their arc. Thus, we have now another new intersection here on top, which is we will call it point D. Now, from point A and point B, we will measure the distance again from A to point B. Get the distance using your compass and draw an arc on the left side. And from point B, make another arc on the right side. And then next step is to make an arc intersecting these two arcs, but now from point D. Draw an arc on the left. And an arc on the right side. Thus, we have now two intersections here, on the right and on the left. We will name this intersection as point C, and the other one will be point E. Now we have now five points already. All we need to do is to get our full or our triangle and draw lines that connect each other points from point A to point B and B to C from D or from C to D we have from D to E and from E going back to A. And now our pentagon is done. That is how you draw a pentagon using